What's up guys and welcome to another video for primitive era 10,000 BC. In this video I'm going to show you guys some tips or things that you can do when you're a new player, things that I would have done differently when I started. So let's get started. First of all, the resources are really important. We got the food, the water, the wood, the charcoal and the gold. You will need to have resources in order to make your villagers work daily. So first of all, you have the bonfire plaza. The bonfire plaza is a place where your villagers will be gathering in order to produce daily. So you will be able to level up this quite high and you will need to store some resources here in order for the villagers to be able to work when you're offline. So make sure to level this up. And you will always need a lot of food and a lot of water. So in order to do this, you will need to make your farms higher and your purifying pools. So make sure to level up those. Next to that, you will need a lot of wood in order to produce the charcoal. The charcoal is produced at the charcoal kiln and you will need to refill this every day so you can also stay away for a few hours. My current status is 1.6 million owned and I can store for approximately 10 hours worth of wood in order to produce charcoal. So you want to make sure that you put this one always on. If you're in need of extra resources, you can always use the rapid function. The rapid production function will give you rewards based on the amount that you have here on the top and it will be reduced every certain percentage. So for example, now I have 100% and if I click start, it will be reduced by a certain percent. There are certain things in your research which will enable you to level this up higher so you can make more production of this. So make sure to level up also your research as soon as you can. In order to keep producing and leveling up your village, you will need to level up your tents. So make sure to level up the tents as high as you can in order to be able to create all the other buildings. One of the other resources that you will need is also gold. You will need a lot of gold in order to level up your heroes and also in order to level up certain buildings. So you want to make sure that at the start you also level up all your gold mines to the highest that you can in order to produce a lot of gold. Once you have done that, you want to go and also check your merchant. The merchant is the place where you'll be able to sell all your resources. So the higher your merchant level, the more slots you will get in order to sell stuff. You will be able to do a free refresh daily and you will be able to sell more stuff to get more gold. So as I said, gold is really important. So you want to be producing gold the whole time and you want to have all the resources in order to be able to buy and sell stuff to get more gold. As you go, you will be getting a lot of levels. So you want to make sure that you level up also your storage. The max level for a storage is going to be level 10. This one will give you a resource cap of 1 million. Once you level up this to level 10, you will be able to put your second storage and this one also gives you 1 million from the start and every level up it will be increasing quite significant. So you want to make sure that you have these also level up fast because if you start getting a lot of resources also from the rewards, you will be losing these because you will not be able to keep them in your storage. Next we have the recruits. We have the hero recruits and you will be able to get a lot of free recruits daily so you want to make sure that you get recruits every day that you can you will be getting for legendary for the epics and for the regular everyday free recruits so make sure to check those and get those because this is going to help you level up your heroes a lot once you have your heroes you want to level up also your heroes in order to be able to carry a lot of armies you want to level up the first kill of every hero that you're going to be using for fighting this is going to give you a higher squad capacity in order to carry more armies in your squad by doing this it will give you significant amount of armies that you will be able to carry for example my best army so far can carry a 65k army and that's because i've leveled up those heroes so far both skills in the first level so level 7 and level 8 as you progress through the game, you will be able to get more squad. You will be able to get your fourth squad once your all is level 18. Mine is level 15 so far, so I only have three slots. You will be getting stamina daily, so you want to make sure that you always use your stamina so you don't get overflow. Otherwise, it's going to be a waste of 
stamina so you can either go farm on these monsters to get resources or what i normally do is i will go to the fishing docks and i will use 50 percent of the stamina in order to unlock the fishing competition which will also give you some nice items in order to get more power i want to thank our sponsor huawei for making this video possible if you're starting out the game and you want to support it Huawei is offering a special 15% point back promotion. You will get Huawei points equal to 15% of the amount purchased. These points can be used to spend inside the Huawei store. For this and many other games inside the App Gallery store. You can also click an exclusive code to claim some nice items in game. The second campaign they are running is also the play to win. For every purchase made you can get coins. These coins can be used to redeem some awesome items like smartwatches, tablets and even laptops. Make sure to check out the whole wide discord as well. They have different events and a good community of people who are willing to help you with the games. I will put the link in the description below so you can check it out. The Huawei app gallery can be used on any phone. Just follow the steps shown during the installation and you're good to go. Or check out one of my previous videos where I show how to install and play games on the Huawei App Gallery store. That's it for the tips guys. I hope these help you in your journey in this new game. If you have any questions or comments, set them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.